what happens when you add 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 using the JavaScript programming language? Well, let's find out. So let's create a new variable. We'll call it result, and we'll set it equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. So result will gain the value of the result of the equation 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. Now we should assume that the result of 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.3, because that's the correct mathematical answer. However, within the JavaScript programming language, if we're to evaluate this result, we'll note that that's not actually the case. Instead of getting 0 0.3, we got 0 0.3, a large number of zeros, and a four. So what that tells us is for some reason the accuracy of the mathematics inside of the JavaScript interpreter is not very high. There's inconsistency. So why does that happen? Well, the reason why this happens in JavaScript and the reason you should be aware of it is because whenever you create a number inside of an equation in JavaScript, for example, 0.1 and 0.2, these numbers are actually stored using an interchange format. This is called the IEEE 754 binary 64 interchange format. So if we jump over to the IEEE 754 page right here, and we go down to this column right here, binary 64, we can see that binary 64 is a double precision number format that's base two. So when we, when we do mathematics on paper, typically we're doing base 10 mathematics but computers are not as good at storing base 10 information. They're much better at storing base two information. So by making use of this binary 64 format and converting your numbers into binary 64, JavaScript can very rapidly store and retrieve numbers, and it can very easily perform opera operations using operands on those numbers, whereas using a base 10 system in a computer which is built on very at the very low level built on binary math would be very difficult. So what's happening here is that this number 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 are getting converted to binary 64 which has double precision which means it doesn't accurately represent the number that you're giving it but instead has a very high amount of precision for representing a similar number. Now typically the precision is so high that when you console.log a value, the console.log will just give you what you expect to get. So if we, if we go here and we create another variable, we call it result2, and we set it equal to something like 0 0.1 plus 0 0.8, and we console.log that result, then you'll see we get the intended value 0.9. It's not that this is actually 0.9, it's that behind the scenes, the precision is so high that the tolerance determines that we should just show 0.9 rather than the following zeros and the very tiny amount of numerical data at the end of that number. However, the 0 0.01 plus 0 0.02 case above did not meet that tolerance threshold. I believe there's some other places where you won't be able to meet the tolerance threshold too, for example, if we create a const result3 and we set it equal to 0.1 plus 0.7, and we console.log the result of that. Now if we console.log the result of that, you'll see we get 0 0.799999 rather than actually getting the 0.8 or 0 0.8 that we expected. So this is an interesting quirk of the JavaScript programming language that you need to be very aware of the fact that when you do mathematical operations in JavaScript, they're taking the numbers that you add together or subtract, etc., and they're converting them over to this binary 64 double precision base 2 format, which is much more efficient for use when doing mathematical operations. Now, the downside to using this double precision binary 64 format is that it's not actually as precise as the math you would do on paper it creates representations that are very close approximations of the correct numbers but are not always going to be equal to the correct number that you're looking for. So if you're doing any mathematically sensitive calculation work you might actually want to choose a different programming language that gives you more choice and more power 
over the type of computations that you perform so that you can get more accurate answers and not risk any of these edge cases from causing negative side effects in the applications you produce.